Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on No Creek Farms episode 7 I believe. I hope so. I think I got that right. I just had it in my head and I forgot. Folks, what we have here? We have the Crone Ultra. Y'all remember last time? We got rat bells. We got rat bells. Let's see what we got here. 6,000 sullage. 6,000. I'm going to run down here real quick. I made a couple of rounds. I think I bought this on the last episode at the tail end of it. I didn't use it. Um, I had ended up putting the Massey Ferguson on it. 5,972, folks. I fast forward time a couple of hours. These are deteriorating as we speak. Yes. They're deteriorating as we speak. But we also look look at the weather up there. It's fixing to rain. So I hate to do this, but we're gonna have to get planting. We have to get planting, folks. So what I'm gonna do is do the end around here first. Um yeah, let, let me get this and started first. Just fire up, turn it on, turn me on, baby. What I'm gonna do is go around the ends. I'm gonna make a round up here, and uh, it should do the rest, hopefully. And we are planting soybeans. Um, gotta get them in the ground. Hey nothing but soybeans left to plant uh fields five six seven eight nine ten and eleven is going to be soybeans um as you can see you only got 921 dollars left well what i'm going to do what i'm going to do i should have planted that field first but it'll be all right oh Snag the tree. Snag the tree. Let's see if I can make this turn around without snagging them up. Oh. Uh. Uh oh. I had to fold up together there. Fold that go over for enough. Yeah. Alright, this in here I'm going to kind of take in an angle. And hopefully this planter will plant this little headache. That's what I call it, a headache. I'm going to hire a worker and we're going to get started on this guy. Yes, I know, gotta, gotta start it first. GPS, oh lord, I thought I had that. Big story. Yeah, I see that bit in the last. Now, this guy here. That's way too much. I want to say that's about right right there. I forgot this guy's got to come down a little bit on his. I'm going to go about 14. Let's go 13.5. Yeah, let's see where that line is. That, that should do it. Just a little. Might have to restraighten it once we get down to the other end. But folks, let's get planting. Soybeans again. This tractor, uh, th this planter, let me rephrase that, this this planter will only do 7 mile an hour. We're going to have to get rid of it because we need a faster planter. 
Uh-oh, I'm going to have to get over this a little, seems like. As long as that ridge marker don't start snagging trees. Oh my god, it's going to snag right there. Oh, it's going to snag. I know it, I know it. Oh, that was lucky. The only problem I got this field is there's a creek right up here. And we'll probably have to make two rounds, give or take. But, um, yeah. But this planter here, as soon as it runs out, no, let me rephrase that. I was going to say, as soon as it runs out of soybeans, we're going to get rid of it. But we are going to wait until the soybeans are planted. Then we're going to get rid of it. I, actually, I think we're going to get rid of both planters because I think we own this one and the other one's leased. So we're going to turn around, get rid of both of them, and wait till planting season again. And then we're going to hire, or not hire, but buy another planter. And that'll be like the other one we got, the great, the big bud one. I might even get a big bud to, to uh, pull it. Yeah, here's the creek I was talking about. And it's deep, folks. It is deep. And it's got, got water in it this time. Whoa, okay. Can't cut sharp. Can't cut sharp. I'm going to be like, well, Mr. Blue, why don't you do a couple rounds this way, then go a couple rounds that way. I would, but. This thing, as you can tell, it will not cut sharp at all. I'm just going to back up. It'll be faster. That doesn't probably be done. We'll probably go half video. Wow, it's done in seven minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. But, uh, probably gonna be a little bit of planting in this video, and then we'll go to, uh, well, don't back off in there. Uh, to bailing. Yeah, right, we'll miss a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take a chance, hire a worker. I know these trees are going to turn me around. I'm pretty sure they are, but I need to go back to the other tractor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good. Oh, I'll just... Crapola. Crapola. That's, that's, that's what I say, crapola. This thing just don't want to back where you want it to back. That's going to be close enough, but we like her or not. Why did you go around this, buddy? Eh. These little fields take longer than anything, but once we get them done, we won't have to worry about nothing else. Looks like we got the whole fill. Now these little fills take longer than anything. They really do. And this tractor, or this planter needs a bigger tractor, what I feel like. I need to check the horsepower on it. But I just don't know. I'll get that when I come out. I'm going to get in here and just get going. And other tractors to the end looks like.
Y'all probably like, what are you doing, Mr. Blue? Folks, I'm just, I'm trying to get it in the ground. Just trying to get it in the ground. That's about all we can do. Look, I got one stopped. Kind of what I'm afraid of. I don't know if this is going to actually work right in here or not. Got to reset the GPS. This don't take very long. That tail. That should work right there. Control W. Oh, I hit the wrong one. Let the planter down. Control W. I'll take off. My hire worker will go back over to. Oh, uh, this one's bad about catching the tree limbs. Just to see. I figured this and stopped. Okay, that's a good thing. But I got the, fer the fertilization caught up to where y'all saw the other planter where I go. So, uh, that's a good deal. I don't know how many more hours or minutes we got before it starts raining so I really want to try to get as much as we can done now I think what I want to do is take that other plant of plant over here and start on this end in fact I'm going to go ahead and start turning around I'll tell you what, I'm going to start over here. That's right, folks, y'all heard me. It's a straight shot. Straight shot, don't have to worry about nothing. Hire a worker, be done with it. Now, while he's finishing that up, um, I'm going to show y'all here. I did get my truck down here with the fertilize. There's very little fertilize and the rest of that seeds. Um, is this all we got? Yeah, it's all the equipment we got. So, um, let me fire this bad boy up. and uh, show y'all what I was doing. This is really time consuming. So, uh, what I want to do is make silage bales. Uh, we are on, oh, I gotta turn that on, I forgot. Uh, wrap bales is on, we're doing 1.5 meter bales. So you turn the back on. And let the. Oh, I hope the GPS is still set right. It looks like it. Oh, look at that. All right, turn the motor on, and we're gonna go town. Twelve mile an hour is not bad. You can see where I already mowed at. So if we let the grass get taller, it would have been a lot better, but I do want to get some bales made, but at the same time, I want to get the beans planted. So I'm just going to show you all this, 
how it does. And as you can see, we got a uh, sullage down there, uh, sullage here. So it's two sullage and two grass bales. I need to uh, get the. I gotta remember that I'm not on hot boats. I keep on thinking I got a bell trailer. I don't have a bell trailer. I got the flatbed, but uh, it's with the fertilizing seeds right now. So turn that on. I don't have to worry about picking the grass up because after midnight it will pretty much take care of my itself. So that's a good thing. Now the bad thing is right now I got a bell on my way. We don't normally do this, but oh, uh, come on, we'll push you that way because I ain't gonna make too many more passes on that side. And we are going uphill, as you can see, so I'm getting the feel of how farm works. Take care of their bells. All right, there comes the first one. As you can see, I'm still picking up as it's wrapping. And we got main chamber and we got pea crest chamber. So I like it. You can tell that I made four bales. And this should show as five. I like to slow down just a little bit. And it's going to roll down. Alright, I'm going to get right here. I'm going to shut off. But they don't mow this grass here anyway. And as you can see, we got five bales made. So that's what it is to it, folks. Um, as you can see, we can mow some of this here. But, um, before you, oh crap, back up, I forgot to turn the bailer on, there we go, so W, but right, right now before you make this bail, you want to go back to grass, you need to change it now. And that way, after it makes sense, and it'll start collecting grass. So, uh, I'm mainly wanting sullage bales, but I do want a couple more made for grass for the sheep. Wait, wait, this don't have sheep on it. See, I, I'm forgetting, folks. I'm forgetting. All right, well, I'm going to stop this right here. And we're going to get back to our planter tractors. Because, like I said, we really... Oh, man, that's... Why did he stop? Fuel's okay. I have no idea, folks. I really don't. Ah, uh, start the tractor. Okay. 
We got lots of spots down here. Oh wow. Whoa, we got a spot right there. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and back up in this corner. Scoot over, try to get this spot over here. These trees aren't no joke right here. Oops. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do on that. Get this little spot, go get that and then that, and then go over and finish that. And then get in the other field to help him. Oh, he done quit again. I got a little bit of it. About as far as it's going to let me get up in there. Ah. Please don't get hung up like a dead rug right up. Huh. That's twice. I'm no good at this part, folks. Yeah, I'm not going to get up in there very close. It'd be hard for the combine to get out, probably. I wish you had an A and B line on GPS where you going around curves, you know, like on how farm works, they can go around a curve, go this way, and then go that way, and go back this way, and they can mark it from A to B on the GPS, and it will follow that curve. One more spot here, and then we'll come back, hold up, unfold, get that spot, and go around the corner there. And that way we can get both these planters working. Because I like to try to stay in the same field until we get along there in case it rains. We'll fast forward time, there won't be a gap in the crops. They'll all be in the same time pattern pretty much. I don't know what I want to do with that and GPS is all I guess I can line the GPS up with it. Ah uh, yeah 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 okay. Close I can get. Don't want to go too fast. Come on, I hit the fold button. There we go. Right in that trench there. All right. Well, before I get any further, I'm sitting on this drive. Well, first, why? Ah, quit that. Line this up. See if that will work with that somehow probably need to be about right there where it looks actually I need to get the center of the track it's off somehow or another it's off so I think that right there should 
line it back up. Just have to go with it and see. And this tractor just don't want to cut it sharp. Bogs down. But I got to do with what I can do with. You know what I mean? Right, I'm going to hire a worker back. Go back to our other tractor. Get him going. Hopefully that will stay running all the way down. Won't be too much off. And that way we can uh, get the ball rolling. I need to uh, get those fields fertilized real quick. Come up here. Probably just drop the uh, seeds off. I'm pretty sure we'll use them. Where am I going? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, we are once again planting soybeans. I'll get him down here and get him situated. Now go jump back on the well, go jump on the fertilizer spreader. Wipe those two fields out. Try to get five and six out of the way. Don't have to worry about them. And just uh, concentrate on seven and eight and then we'll get down there and do nine and ten so let me go ahead and turn my gps where the long ways is i can't copy course from neighbor because he's down there too far Wheel's going to drop off. I might have to fold this bad boy up. Oh. Okay, they're going to they're hold up. Or is it? Okay, yeah. It caught, so that's good. Uh oh. There we go. I had to fold up there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the end cross here until he gets back. Hopefully he'll he'll turn around, won't have no problems, and uh, we can just stay planting. Cause I need to get that trailer emptied, and um, a bunch of other stuff. Get some bales situated and put in the shed. Um, I want to get at least at least 
maybe eight bales of each made, put in a shed. Uh, eight bales of grass and eight bales of silage and eight bales of hay. And that will make TMR food. You know, that right there looks like it's dead on. So we're going to try it. It really looks like it's dead on. So we might be lucky. Let's get rid of that. Uh, when I get up here around this mud hole, I'm going to call it. I want to uh, hire out worker and hopefully he'll miss on the way back. Oh man, he stopped down there. He stopped down there. He's quit seeding. Oh well. I'll have to get him started back. I like we're going to have problems with him working. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to move this over. To about right there. We'll get it lined up here in a minute. Folks, this episode might be just a little bit longer than normal. Um, the simple fact because uh, you know, we just now really got started planting. I know we can't finish this on this time frame, but Alright, so I see we're going to have to make another another round. What should I? He might go through that. I don't know. It's going to be really rough. It looks like we're going to have to scoot over again. Where it's looking. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and save me a little time and heartache and just do it like there. I'm gonna get situated here, then we'll hire a worker, get him turned around. And, uh, and hire a worker. Yeah. You quit, buddy. Why don't you quit on me? And GPS is all out of whack. Before I even uh, copy a course from neighbor. I did something. Fourteen three. Dial it down just a little bit more. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to. Whoa, crap. Oh, well. I have scoot this over again. Now 
Raptor. We want to see if that'll work. The other guy just turning and burning over. Who is there anyway? Hey, we got Mr. Yankee. All right. Oh, I didn't back up for it now. That'd be auto. Alright, we're going to see what we got here. Let's go on over to this guy here. We're going to go ahead and get GPS locked on. Looks perfect. Pass a tree here. Whoa, whoa. Got it on a weight instead of the fertilizer bug. We're going to try to do this by hand so it goes a little bit faster. As long as that shows two tractors up there seeding, I'm alright. Get this fertilizer caught up before it rains. It shouldn't take that long. As I said, shouldn't. All right, I'm gonna move this over just a little. Not right there. lock on, get some straight way going. Uh, uh oh. One of them done quit again. Yeah, I made it without getting on any. I'm going to hire a worker real quick. Oh, he nosedive off in there. Got to keep this one going. He's the main one. And I ain't sure if it'll be all right, because he'll be... He'll be locked on pretty good. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> now the oven quit. Oh wow. Okay, hire a worker. Don't know why. Sure don't know why. Maybe it'll work. I have to check for streets. <laughs> All right. Little buddy getting all along here. All right. All this is done except for this.
kind of take the edge off this a little bit. Our worker. Let's get back to her planner. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're doing good now. All right, let's check for streaks. Get the mouse. And zoom in. I don't see none right here, so that's a blessing. That is a blessing. All right. Um. Oh, oh, we're getting a streak now. Where did that start? All the way back. Oh, it's going to go all the way back. Oh, it goes all the way back. Oh, okay. That's just going to be a little strip right there. There's not that much we can do about it. We got to get this guy rolling because that guy there is going to really, really beat us. So, what I'm going to do with a strip is just move this over. About right there. Folks, um... I hate to do it to y'all. I know y'all probably want to see this, but I'm 42 minutes in. Hmm. He is right on the edge. Let's move him over some more. There we go. What I'm going to do is, uh, when this one gets out to the end up here, I'm going to go ahead and do across the ends while that guy is finishing up down through here. Uh, I hate to do it with the slow one. I really wish we could go faster, but this guy's almost out of fuel, too. Which I didn't have that much in there. But uh, next time, <coughs> it's going to be more planting, folks. I'm going to do a little bit of this off screen. Um, I don't know how much. I think what I'm going to do is just get that fast planter going down this edge right here. Let him plant and have this in here doing the ends. And I think it will really speed up things better. Um, yeah. That's about the only thing I know to do, folks going to be a little bit before he reached the end. Let's, oh, up in the bushes. Way over here. Wow. Alright, should have took care of everything right there. Yep, all that's done. Don't see nothing there. All right. I don't know exactly how much fertilizer is left in there. I'm gonna try. I'm 84 percent. I'm gonna try to put rest of that fertilizer in this buggy, and that way all we have left is the seeds. And I'll probably just drop them off and bring this trailer on back. And next time, we'll pick up uh, pick up some bales and go sell them on the next episode. All right, that is all of the uh, fertilizer, seed, seed, and seed. So. Alright, I'm going to get over here with the planters. At one stop, so we're doing alright. Get this guy over here going. Hey right, folks, I know it's been a long one, but uh, I hope y'all watched it to the end. And uh, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all the support and love. And having said that, i got to get off of you. So, thanks.
thanks, thanks, and y'all have a, a great day, a blessed day, and I will see you later. Bye.